It has been a brutal summer in Phoenix with the unprecedented heat waves smashing records. Clearly, it's normal for it to be hot in Phoenix, um, but we are seeing abnormally high temperatures. Kathy Jacobs is a professor at the U of A and director at the Center for Climate Adaptation Science and Solutions. She says climate change is slowly increasing our Earth's temperature, leading to hotter summers. Whenever we're burning coal or oil, we are seeing um, some uh, emissions from that go out into the atmosphere and trapping more heat. Every day in July so far has hit more than 110 degrees. For perspective, in 1974, we had a heat wave lasting 18 days, but temperatures then still dipped back down to the 70s overnight. Climate experts say if we don't take action, more intense heat waves, wildfires and the drought will only get worse. All you have to do is look at the data. Um, this is the longest heat wave and most intense heat wave that Phoenix, Phoenix has ever experienced since these records have been kept. So this is not normal. This is abnormal. Sandy Barr is the director of the Sierra Club Arizona chapter. She lobbies for environmental issues at the state capitol, but says the GOP controlled legislature won't even hear bills that address climate change. There's a denial of the science. They just aren't, you know, they're not willing to look at the research, acknowledge it, and, and recognize that, you know, what we're seeing now is not normal. This is, this is more intense than we've ever seen. We reached out to the GOP State House about concerns over climate change. A spokesperson responded, saying in part the hyper politicization of summer heat being pushed by the radical left partisan agenda is tiring and hardly worth acknowledging. At what point does Phoenix actually become uninhabitable? Uh, if if we don't take uh, strong actions and take strong actions now, we you know we really um, we really need to not just be thinking about ourselves but about future generations. Now, Barr says some of the bills that GOP lawmakers refused to hear included a bill to plan for more intense heat waves and to study the impact of climate change here in our state. Reporting in Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family. Thank you, Emma. As